Plus, this morning, a rare treat, a chance to see inside the Georgetown house where a grieving First Lady, Jackie Kennedy, moved with her two young children. And this was right after the assassination of President Kennedy, now almost 60 years ago. But the house is for sale again. It is not cheap, Bob, and I think we should just put that out there first and foremost. You, you got to have some money to, if you want it, you can either buy the commanders or buy this house, basically, right? <laughs> Yeah, basically $26.5 million. Hey, guys, this house is a tourist attraction of sorts, has been for six decades. Three stories, red brick, beautiful black shutters. It went on the market two weeks ago, and as you mentioned, giving us a rare chance to take a look inside. It was just weeks after the assassination of President John F. Kennedy when young widow Jackie Kennedy and her two children, Caroline and John Jr., moved out of the White House and into this three-story mansion on N Street in Georgetown. JFK was killed in November of 63, uh, and... She needed a place to stay. She needed a place to stay. She b bought this for 195000 uh, Oh, my goodness. Yeah. $195,000 was a lot of money at that time. And this house, built in 1794, gave the grieving former first family a beautiful and comfortable place to call home. In the living room here was where Jackie was interviewed by the Warren Commission, investigating her husband's assassination. It was a time of transition for Jackie and the children, but also the beginning of the haunting of the family as a spectacle of curiosity. You know, the publicity was so intense, you know, tour buses blocking the street, and she would often have to leave out the back onto Dumbarton Street. And so it was just too much. So by September, uh, right around there, she was out of here and up to New York. And now the house is on the market again. Listing price, $26.5 million. And voila. TTR Sotheby's international realty co-founder, Jonathan Taylor, took us on a tour of what is now three homes combined into one. The sum of these parts is worth more than the individual things by far. Jackie's house and the two neighboring homes to the east are now under one roof, if you will, and for sale by the estate of the late owner, David Hudgens. So he bought this house in uh, 97. Okay. He bought the other one in uh, 06, and then he... Uh, bought this in 17, and it was about a two-year project of renovating this and combining, and then just about a year ago, he completely gutted and renovated the end one. Everything in here is in great condition. Um, the, the history is amazing, and you kind of feel it in the house. The main house, Jackie's house, is known as the Newton Baker House, listed in the National Historic Register and named after its most famous previous tenant, the U.S. Secretary of War in the lead-up to World War I. It was last put on the market in 2016 after the death of its then-owner, Yolanda Fox, Miss America, in 1951. David Hudgens bought the Newton Baker House for roughly half the $10 million asking price in 2017, mainly because it was a mansion without a garage. The cement construction company owner took care of that. What he was able to do was take his front-loading garage and extend it back and tunnel under this house. There are now connecting passageways between the three different buildings. In one of the rooms in the middle unit, you feel like you're walking into the White House. The ceiling is a work of art. The top floor terrace in the middle house has a beautiful bird's eye view of Georgetown. It's just a very unique opportunity. The Jackie house is roughly 8,000 square feet. The compound altogether has a combined 16,500 total square feet of interior space for the right buyer. And there is the portrait of Jackie that is just inside the front door here. Uh, Jonathan tells us they've had some interest already. People who either have a large family, maybe run a nonprofit where they could have uh, meetings and use part of the other homes for office space. One of the keys to the sale of this mansion, guys, is the fact that for the first time now, it has off-street parking. <laughs> I mean, I large mean, family, you could have half the city in that yes, house. Uh, yes, Bob, does, does any of that great furniture convey with the sale, or was that all staged for the sale process? Yeah, no, this, this, you could get it like this. This, uh, most of this was not what Jackie had. And when he mentioned that uh, she sat for the interview for the uh, Warren Commission, was right here. So this has been staged. You can buy it. You don't have to. 
uh, this is not the original furniture that was here, but it's the footprint. This is how it looked for Jackie and the kids when they lived here right after the assassination. It's remarkable. It's stunning, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You see that yeah. great property. Absolutely. I've been by there. I never realized that they were all connected like <laughs> right? that. Me neither. Which I is... did the whole Georgetown tour, yeah. mm -hmm. and even then, maybe I wasn't paying attention to that little, little detail, but I thought it was just the one main home. Yeah. Bob, if you want to split it, we'll give you half. Like, we'll give you the half million, and you come up with the other 26.